Okie dokies. All right. We're in business. We should be up and firing. Today is my, well, I call this my day of rest, where I get to pretty much just bum around, really, and paint some stuff. I'm doing my sound check. I can hear myself. I've tried a slightly different setup for those of you who are unfamiliar with what I do. Hopefully the sound is a little bit better, although I'm not convinced it will be. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. We are, we're going to get started. Um, I'm not going to say anything else that I normally say with these live streams. This is just me painting really, nothing much else. Uh, if the live stream gets a bit funky and not very sort of good, I do apologise. You're welcome to um, chat along with me. Loud and clear? Oh, how's it going, Roll for Damage? Oh, this is awesome. I, look, I honestly don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, it's been a while since I painted. In fact, I was talking and, and not pointing my head towards the microphone. So I do, do apologise if um, I look like garbage. I'm old. My eyes are old. My hands are old. I was never that good at painting anyway. Um, but I'm still going to do it because um, I just, you know, talking about Dungeons and Dragons is fine. But um, all that preparation, it just gets to me after a while. Anyway, let's start. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler. And yes, you can chat with me about Dungeons and Dragons all you like. But today I'm going to do some painting and uh, what I was, uh, I, I got those miniatures, uh, deep cuts and I decided I would do a little bit of painting to get myself sort of started back in the flow uh, and I've, I've picked out two options for today and those two options are a piece of terrain and a couple of miniatures. So what I've got is essentially this and that is I've got myself the, the merchants. I think this is a merchant standing on a treasure chest, as far as I can tell. And then the other merchant is, I think it's a barmaid with uh, holding a beer and a platter with some beer and maybe some food on it, which I'm gonna um, have a go at painting today as well. I've also got myself some treasure chests. This is more my speed. Treasure chests are hopefully a lot easier. <laughs> I've, I've tried to get all of my bits and pieces in order and I've taken the advice that people have given me and said please Fred please zoom in so we can actually see stuff uh, so that's the plan for today okay and I did a little test view just to make sure that um, detail would show up on the camera if I sort of stray off the zone I have tried to line it up so there's a piece of paper so I know where I'm supposed to be but if I do stray you need to let me know so I bring it back into the frame because I have zoomed it in quite a lot just to make sure everything can be seen all right, okay, let us get started, shall we? Uh, the first process is I've got to get them out of the packet. There we go. Then toss that on the ground. I don't think I'll need that anymore. And they get to come out of the packet. Let's get moving. Ha! Oh, there we go, a couple of treasure chests. It's things on the, on the ground. And I pull them out in a second. I'll get the merchants out in a second. Right, this time I am prepared. I did. I get my little containers organised so I can stick things on here. So I'll shove it on. But a blue tag and a container that I had um, vitamins in, so I can just shove things on there and hold them in place. I'm hoping this works. I had decided I was going to use corks, little corks. I thought that was a fantastic idea. Blue tag does not stick to corks, as it happens. I thought I was being really, really clever. No, no, it doesn't work. So, so be it. You just shove that on there. Now, I know I won't be able to paint the underneath of it. I do realize that. I had thought about that. Oh, have I selected too many um, containers? I might have. All right, okay. And, but, you know, I figure I can do the underneath later on. It doesn't have to be now. There's a way bigger container have no idea if that's going to actually make it easier or worse for me. Really sort of depending on I'm going to have a lot of fun. I have to make sure I'm right on the screen for you to be able to see that. Okay, all right, so that's the first um, point. So let's grab the first one. And I need a brush, something that will cover a lot of area fast. That one will do. And my little paint palette thingy. And remember to shake the bottle. I'm using... What is it? Valio, uh, Valio, 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 Valgiglio. I'm using these paints basically. Okay, my brother recommends them. They're acrylic, acrylic, and um, they don't seem to go on quite as thick 
as the Citadel paints and they've got a squeezy bottle in them which is what I like about them so which is why I'm going to use them today and if it'll come out I've been told I should water them down but I've found that these paints are often watered down enough and if I start getting carried away it just doesn't work so I'm not going to water them down I've already tried that uh, I do appreciate the advice though uh, and I just want to get black on here first I think that's probably the smartest thing uh, da -da -da -da. I'm probably gonna just brush it on uh, really fast so it might not look that great to begin with the problem is the temperature in New Zealand makes a big difference in terms of paint drying right so you've got to be careful about how watery you make your paints and if they're obviously not watery enough then they dry too fast and so I'm just gonna plonk it on roughly uh, valley hole valley hole valley hole val valleo valleo Thank you, Darren Vallejo. Right, okay, all right. You know what, I mean, I've got to do a video on Dungeons and Dragons names, or my abil inability to actually say anything that has to do with the English language, which of course is the only language I know. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you realize it, but I actually had a lot of trouble at school. Um, reading and writing was a major hassle for me, which is quite odd that I'm now running a YouTube channel that revolves around a lot of language speaking I don't really know how to speak I'm still learning <laughs> okay right let's um, grab a bit of paint I don't know if I'm gonna like this idea I'm going to dip it in the brush put a little bit in the tray let's try and get as much of the water off there as I can and then apply and see if that helps because the last time I dropped a little bit of paint in there it did not work very well how's it going Jack Vallejo, Vallejo, I think I've got it right there, I think that's correct, I think your Darren has got the name right on the dot, and that is just not covering, okay, so that's good to know, what's that Darren, the paint he's using is called uh, Vallejo Black, yes it is, I will put all the details for the paints um, down below in the description later on, I just haven't done it right now, uh, for those of you who are wondering what I'm going to be doing with my day, well, I'm going to spend about an hour with you guys just talking rubbish and painting these. And then once I've done that, I'm probably going to go and do... <laughs> I'm going to do some pre-published videos. I'm going to probably cover the Paladin. I don't know when they'll go up. But I've decided that I will go back to doing my silliness that I did before. So, um... If you wind up having to put up with like a few seconds of me being a complete dick, that's probably what you're going to have to contend with. I'm sorry, that's how it is. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to need to need, need more paint, more paint. <clears throat> Am I close enough, guys? Did I zoom it in enough, or is it still too far away to be able to see what's going on? See, I, I applied water, and I still feel like I feel like the it's still not working quite the way I'd hoped. Either that or my brush is just really shite. Uh, a little bit of water and apply. It's not a very stiff brush. I think that's half the problem. I'm trying to get in those little corners. All right, let's try again. A bit more water in there. And cover. Get in the cracks. Get in the cracks, you silly paint. Go in there. Uh, solid draining. Yes, framing. Framing looks good to me. You? All right, Darren. Okay, so if I've, I've got the... I really wasn't too sure if coming in as close as this was a good idea, but if it's if you feel like that's, that's the way to go, I will continue to do that. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to improve my sound because I know my live streams the sound isn't very good because I've got a small office the sound can't travel it bounces off the walls and I didn't really want to turn my entire office into an egg carton but I have stuck one egg carton behind the microphone on the wall which looks ridiculous I must say it looks appalling 
but I have done it in an attempt to try to improve the sound. La da 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 da. Okay, what's that, uh, Jack? What do you got here? Oh, I would be Vallejo or <laughs> if you're Argentine. Okay, I'm not. I would I would imagine that um, you've got a better understanding of how to say it than I do. Okay, I'm I'm I feel like I'm going to give that brush a, a rest since it. It's not really covering the way I want it to. I'm going to I'm going to give up on that, and I'm going to go with the standard Citadel brush, which I feel like I probably should have done from the very get go, but I was being resistant. Let's just get it in the corners. And oh, I need a bit more water. A bit more water. No, it's not coming off. I feel like putting the water in a different um, location is probably a good idea, just so I don't wind up maximizing the amount of water in one location I think that's the right story yeah come here a little bit a little bit a little bit and okay it's covering a little bit better now my brother has got one of those um, airbrushes so it makes life really easy he can just cover a big area in, in less than a minute and then, uh, then he, he's figured out how to clean them out really really fast and goes on to the next color he was showing me a setup the other day and I was like oh my gosh and you don't live stream this stuff or at least put it up on YouTube or somewhere he's like no I was like okay all right okay whatever so what is everybody else doing? Are you guys uh, painting, doing your modeling, making terrain, prepping for a Dungeons and Dragons adventure, trying to find out the best combination of player character features to un unravel um, your dungeon master and the other players at the table? No, no, I'm only kidding. Um, I'm actually hoping I'm going to get to play Dungeons and Dragons as a paladin sorcerer paladin sorcerer uh, dragonborn and i'm going to i've talked to some of the players and the dungeon master and i'm hoping he'll let me multi-class into paladin sorcerer and eventually into wild magic yes i know wild magic is one of those um, game wreckers but i've seen it actually being really really useful to the party as well i've seen it do both so it can be good it can be bad but yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, man, check with the players, check with the dungeon master, make sure they're on board, which is what I've done. Uh, da, 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 da. What's that, Jack? My mum is watching this. Oh, hi, mum. All right, how's it going? I'm, you're in the emergency room? Hey, what's happened to you, man? Are you all right? Good Lord. <laughs> Probably, no, don't share all that stuff, actually, now that I think about it. Um, forget what I asked. Don't don't tell us. That's personal stuff. Good Lord. Man, I hope you're all right, man. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to put some more water in this trough here. Is it a trough? A little, I don't know, it's not really a trough. It's, it's just a little posse. In the posse. Uh, Anna, how's it going, Anna? How are you? Uh, do, do, do. What have you got here? Uh, hola. Uh, okay. Um, and I'm. I struggle with the English language. You start speaking in another language, and I have no hope of understanding what you're saying. So, if anybody in the chat can decipher or translate what Anna is saying, I do appreciate it. Okay. Sorry about that, Anna. Really, really sorry that I don't understand. At hate. Sorry to hear that. Uh, sort of similar to my week. Hope it's not too serious. Oh gosh. It's your dad. Oh, well, that's not good either. The fact that your dad's in hospital is not good. Not, not good. No, that unraveled me a lot when my father passed away. And um, and there was all the the stuff leading up to that. So it's always nerve wracking, man. Hope he's all right. Best wishes, man. 
Um, Jack's already covered that. Spanish for hello. All right. Hello, Anna. I am... Um, I, I do realize that some of my subscribers are not English speaking and I have considered the concept of translation but unless the channel is making like a significant amount of money it's just so expensive to do and I've been a little, little bit reluctant to have other people translate my videos just in case somebody decided to get a little bit carried away or a little bit silly so that, that is why it hasn't happened. Um, I'm just going to have to do the top of this. It's taken me all this time just to get it to go black. Ha! Huh. Well, it is black now. Let's put it aside. Okay, let's grab another one. Let's grab one of the open ones. Um, I'm just going to clean that brush out. I just don't want it to go hard on me. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. All right, so Anna said help. How pretty, I love it. Oh, good. Now, let's see if we can't get some more paint on this little sucker. On the inside, see it? See, I watered it down. Look, this is the problem. I don't know if you guys can see that. The watering down idea, in this case, has not worked very well. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with not watering down till later on, once I've got a bit of paint on it. Once I've got a bit of paint stuck on there, I think we're all, we're all good, but until then, no watering down. Uh, okay. I said hello, not help. Oh, hello. Okay, all right. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of people trying to translate, and it's getting a bit confusing. <laughs> Nicholas, how's it going, Nicholas? What do I think of Reaper Bones? I think Reaper Bones are all right, but... Um, my, my biggest issue with the Reaper Bones, unless you're doing the Kickstarter and you're willing to wait the time frames that they, they require you to wait before their product is ready, uh, they're expensive. If you look at the standard price of an unpainted miniature uh, from Reaper Bones and then uh, the other options that I've talked about, which is the Dungeons and Dragons D&D um, uh, board games, the board games are still going to be cheaper in the long run. Okay. That's my view, although the difference is that you can pick and select what you want with Reaper Bones. And if you check out Blanco, Blanco does a channel who talks about cheap miniatures, where to get them from. He's still of the opinion, and I'm still of the opinion, that's my understanding, that uh, the best option is still the board games, but if, if you don't want the board games, not everybody can get access to those things, because depending on the country you are, you are in, you just can't get them shipped to you so they're not always a great option um, the, somewhere like the import stores the Chinese um, import stores that sell uh, odd looking bits and pieces are often better for that sort of thing there's nothing wrong with Reapers I've got some Reaper miniatures myself I just haven't shown off that many that's all does that cover your question there hopefully it does I've talked about the Reapers. Uh, Jack, um, hey, she's my mum. Uh, she doesn't speak English. Ah, oh, okay. But she wanted to see you painting. Oh, okay, thanks. It's cool. Uh, this is the, see, this, here's the problem. I still haven't figured out how to point the... point my, my monitor in a location that allows me to see the chat as I paint. And I will respond to people. I just, I, I've got to paint a little bit and then turn my head a little bit. Um, my brother tells me he's going to figure out a solution to all of this. And that would be awesome. But it hasn't happened yet. And I believe he's waiting till we get fiber. Because once we have fiber, hopefully everything will get a lot easier. <laughs> it's no guarantee, but hopefully it will get a lot easier. Ah. Uh. All right, okay. Chat box is back up. All right, good. All right, grab my brush. I'm just refreshing every once in a while just to make sure I get every uh, everything that's going on. All right, okay, good. Cool. Uh, Kari, how's it going, Kari? I just started DMing 
for, for my friends. Uh, we will meet tomorrow evening for our second session. Oh, that's awesome, Curry. I'm glad to hear it. What are you running, Curry? Any, anything in particular? What's the adventure? Are you running your own thing, or are you running the Lost Mine of Fandalver, or something else? Uh, Darren. Uh, yes, Darren, you're right. It's definitely a lot of work being a DM. If, if you're taking up that mantle, my hat is off to you. Because, well, my hat is off to you today, because I don't have my hat on. Um, <laughs> but it is still off to you in the other sense of the word anyway. Right, I'm just going to just clean that brush out before it starts looking a bit tacky. Or tatty. Is it tacky? Tatty? Something like that. Here again, see I haven't done any painting for a long time and I have forgotten that I need to ensure that I have something to dry off with. And that is not there. Of course, I didn't do that. It's dead. I avoided doing that and I should have. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, there, there is. There's a cloth right there. It's in front of me. Oh my gosh. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, the paint is going in. It's only black though. I don't know how far I'm going to get with all of this. We'll see. Um, okay, I've got to turn this into a... I don't know if you can necessarily see what's going on, but I'm, I'm trying to get it in the crevices. It's actually very hard to see and paint and allow you guys to see what I'm doing at the same time. I think we covered most of the inside of that. And sorry, it's going to go out of the shot just for a second so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Man, hats off to anybody. To, who tries to live stream and paint at the same time. It's very, very difficult. It's very hard. Okay. Little Jack, what do you got here? Hope you have lots of fun. I'm DMing my second session last Saturday. Oh, good. Man, I, I like the, the fact that there's so many new Dungeon Masters who are jumping into the chat. It's, it's great news. Not that I don't want to talk to people who are just playing the game either you know, I, I, I know I haven't done a lot of videos for people who are just playing the game and not DMing but um, my um, my heart is always out to those who decide to take on the huge responsibility and effort required to Dungeon Master even if they're not spending huge numbers of hours or minutes minutes um, preparing their game it's, it's, still, it's still a lot of responsibility, it's still a lot of work, work, it's certainly a lot harder than playing a character. Oh, here we go, if we get it all, uh, see this is the back end of, see, I should have painted this thing before I stuck it on, on the back edge, because getting the paint in there is going to be an absolutely, uh, it's going to be a pain, it really is, and I don't want to touch it because then my fingers are all over it. Ah, uh, come here. Get in there. Get in there. Get the paint in the corners. Just... Ah. Uh. All right. I'll come back to you. 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 I'll deal with you later. Okay. Right. Just need a drink of water. Let's get one of these things covered as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get to that second packet. I feel like the... The treasure chests might be about all I can cope with today. Not surprised, really. Come on. Just get in the little cracks. All right. Okay, now I'm just going to get rough and right ready about this. Just whack it on and then try and fill in the gaps where I've missed after. La 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 no, that didn't work very well, but never mind. Let's try it again. No, that's just wiping all the paint off. Knew it. Knew it. Shake that bottle. Shake it. Yeah. Airbrushing would be much easier, but I don't have an airbrusher, unfortunately. Uh, what's that hate? Because there's lots of complaints about uh, reef bones miniatures not holding paint, especially the smaller ones like the Cabalt and the Goblin Packs. Yeah, um, 
I believe that these deep cuts, the first batch, were a problem, actually, because the company did not think clearly about what sort of um, plastic they were going to use. And so um, Vallejo explained to them the type of plastic they required and also said that they should prime them with their primer. And this is supposed to help hold the paint better. Only time will tell because I've never used these deep cuts before. So I am doing this for the very first time with these miniatures and these paints. And given enough flicking about and so forth, I shall hopefully be successful. The flicky of the brushy washy. Alright. Okay. Um, oh, you're running Lost Mon of Fandelva, Curry. Cool. Awesome. Glad to hear it. It's a good adventure. I'm doing lots of uh, videos on that particular topic as it happens. Um, in fact, I will be doing one every week for a very long time. And you know, I know a few people are like, Oh, what will you be doing after the Lost Mine of Fandelva? Well, I don't know. And I know I started doing the Horde of the Dragon Queen, but I really don't want to do Horde of the Dragon Queen because I don't like it very much. Um, I would prefer to actually do the Rise of Tiamat over the Lost, <laughs> the Horde of the Dragon Queen. The Rise of Tiamat was a lot of fun. It's, I mean, it, there's, there's problems with it. There is. But it was more fun for me to run as a dungeon master than it was the Horde of the Dragon Queen was just a blah, 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 blah. Pain, painful, painful. Even the Curse of Strahd, I'd definitely consider covering the Curse of Strahd, but given the amount of um, videos that I'm planning to do for the Lost Mine of Fandalva, that could be months away. Months and months and months. By, the, by then, you, you might all have gotten so old that um, you are no able, not able to actually watch my videos anymore. Um, so, let's just get in the hole. Man, oh my gosh. All right, okay, so I think I've covered that. No, I haven't. Okay, hang on. It's going out of the shot while I figure it out. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm trying not to lose my temper with this. I've only managed to paint things black. Seriously? Black. That's it. It should be easier than that. Okay. I'm, it's quite clear to me. This time, I'm pulling it off the little container. I'm going to paint the back of this before I stick it on. That's the plan. And I'm glad that my videos have been helpful, Curry. Was, though I wasn't really trying to make everything um, just for the sake of making everything. The idea was that I would be helpful to somebody. But, um, I don't think that are definitive. The only reason that the videos have been taking, taken well is because no other channel for some strange reason has come to the conclusion that they should actually do a series of videos or at least one video on the Lost Mine of Fandelva and how to run it as a dungeon master. Possibly because it's so much work given the, um, the type of um, research that I wind up having to do for them that might be part of the reason. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily the only reason it took me a little while to realize that after I did the first one that I should have done more. And in fact, I was talking to a new dungeon master and they said, look, you know, Fred, I, I watched that video and it was like uh, on the Lost Mine of Fandelva for dungeon masters. And it was on my phone. It was terrible. It was awful. But it's like the only one out there, which is ridiculous, right? Stupid. But it still is. Okay. All right. Let's... I feel like this has been more successful by painting the back side black first. And yes, I know I should be watering the paint down, but I'm trying to get it on. I just want to get it on. It's, it's, get in the corners. It's either add water and it just bleeds off or, okay, all right. <gasps> no, not over there. <clears throat> okay, stick it on to my, what is this? This is my Go Man Plus vitamin <laughs> uh, oh my god what was i thinking telling you with that okay anyway i just need a drink of water uh, 
the things I say on this channel sometimes is just mental. <laughs> Darren hates. Try washing them with soap and rinse with, yeah, yeah, rinsing them. you got to definitely wash the, the miniatures. If you don't wash the miniatures, it's going to make life a lot um, harder. Okay, right, so, no, remember Fred, do not use the water yet. Just bang on a little bit of paint to start off with and get them started and then add the water and then hopefully it'll work I feel like that's ha actually worked a lot better for me just to cover them I... not that it seems to be covering very, very well right now but yeah let's just, just wiggle the brush around a bit faster that's all and then into the into the bit that I have trouble getting into last time get in the bit get in there just okay all right now where's the water let's do the water thing I had some success with it not a huge amount but a little bit over here uh, more water in my mouth that is mm. it is raining in New Zealand it's always raining in New Zealand actually unless it's summer and of course summer's not that long you know in New Zealand it's raining and it's cold if it's not raining and it's cold it's raining it's cold and it's windy and then if it's not raining cold and windy it's sunny warm and wet and raining that's New Zealand for those of you who want to know which of course none of you would because who would want to know what the weather is like in my country and then we get three months if we're lucky unless of course we have freak storms which is quite often where it is sunny warm humid you can bathe in your own sweat uh, semi-tropical location <laughs> semi-tropical I've been told feels very tropical at times but mostly just cold and wet all right so more water uh, all right I'm not keeping up with the chat but uh, that's probably because nobody's actually uh, that interested in what I have to say <clears throat> okay uh, Nicholas yeah brought a few because they were the cheap oh cheap on trade me oh yeah but yeah any more than 10 plus minis and I'd rather get a different set of something else yeah, fair enough. Uh, da -da -da -da. Later, Jack. Oh, later, hate. See you later. All right. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Nicholas, what do you got here? Another Q Fred question. What is your favorite monster? You know, I've had that question so many times, but I'll answer it again. It is the Mimic. I like Mimics. I have had Door Mimics. I've had Chest Mimics. I haven't done a toilet mimic, but then of course you don't really deal with the toilet and Dungeons and Dragons that often. Um, I've got a mimic that is a a bed, uh, pardon me, a barrel. Um, I've made a mimic, a book, um, a set of um, armor. Literally, I turned an entire um, wizard's tower into a big mimic. Which the players, when they finally discovered how bad the situation was, decided to leave. Which wasn't very easy because I had been watching way too much of Monster House. And decided I would have it try and eat them. And as that's trying to eat them and they're trying to escape from the tongue and they're getting stuck to things. And then eventually they did escape but only by the um, hairs. Just, just by the, the skin of their teeth, basically. They just made it out. And then they discovered... That the Mimic, being so large and only having a speed of 20 feet, that they had a speed of 30 feet. Which meant that they could just move and then just shoot it with their bows for the next hour. Until it finally died since it had so many hit points. The most ridiculous situation, and once it was clear to me that that was what they were going to do, and I couldn't escape with my Mimic, my big Mimic that was supposed to be so impressive. Uh, oh well. And it, um, it died and they collected the XP and were quite joyous about their ability to destroy my monster. Now my mimics move a lot faster 
and I feel like mimics should be able to go invisible because they cannot escape. Once they get into trouble, they cannot leave. There's no way. <laughs> they just die. They die horribly. Okay. All right. I'm going to just transfer one of these chests over to a different loam container because the smaller containers are easier for you guys to see. And I feel like that's the smartest route. And there. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit more black over the top section of this. And it's watered down, hopefully, so it should go in the cracks. And then I'm going to start mixing some brown. I'm going to go brown. I'm going to go silver. Um, I've got some a wash. Seriously, I bought a wash. A wash for dealing with pretty much everything, supposedly. That is what has I been told. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but this is what I have been told. All right, so that's that done. Stick that over there. Oh, there's a big hair sticking off that. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, uh, show. I don't know. All right. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. I wasn't keeping an eye on the chat as much as I should have, uh, but I've got it. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, what have we got here? Um, so Nicholas, I've answered your question. Slice of slice of Scott. Ooh, it sounds cannibalistic. My players are nearing level five. Any tips or anything to know with them advancing to tier two? Yeah, um, all bets are off. You're wasting your time with the encounter building rule and encounter building rules and the dungeon master's guide. With regard to any player that is level 5 and upward, waste of your time, don't even bother going there. My suggestion is slow boil um, and just, yeah, just try to make things hard. Because it's really hard to make things hard once they get to level 5. And as soon as they get magic items, all bets are off because they are going to be even more powerful than they were before. Yeah, that's my advice to you. Uh, it's... You just keep adding things in. You know, I remember somebody saying to me, oh, I shouldn't be able to add a giant when they're only level um, eight or nine. That seems, you know, and I said, no, 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 you can add a lot more than just a giant, man. Just crank it up. Slow and easy, though. You don't need to do it all at once. Okay, so that's that treasure chest. Just tidied up. Um, I have to make sure I sort of pick these up in the right order. Otherwise, not going to work. Hope did that answer your question, Slice of Scott? Uh, Jean. Jean Paul. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice painting, chat, Fred. Uh, much better than your dice rolling. Oh, thank you very much. Um, are you DMing for me tomorrow, Jean Paul? Jean Paul, are you going to be DMing for me tomorrow, or um, am I going to be um, alone at home watching movies? Uh, bring it along to your D&D session tomorrow night. I, I might uh, I might consider doing that. Um, it's only if I get it finished. And as you can see, I'm struggling just to get the black in place. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Jen, Jen Paul is my DM. I am uh, I am his player. I am not DMing at present. I am a player, which sounds strange because I run a channel that tends to be all about DMing. But no, I am getting a chance to play the game. You come on. I need to get more paint, or I just need to. Okay, I feel like I'm pretty close. I've got all the bits. No, oh, no, there's a bit missing there too. E. I wasn't expecting you to jump in. Why aren't you working, man? I would have thought you'd been rushed off your feet. Rushed. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm sorry I pulled it out of the screen, but I just, oh, the paint's coming off because it's watered down. All right. Give me a small black. Um, the Maniac. I am from New Zealand, which is not a state or part of Australia in any way, shape or form. Um, we are considering, the New Zealand uh, population are consider considering letting the Australians become part of New Zealand, but not the other way around. 
and just because we only have to uh, one time zone and they have five and they're an entire continent has nothing to do with it all right okay i'm going to leave it alone i feel like i'm just messing that up now so that's that's black black no it's not black it's something like that Kari, what do you got here? I'm finally getting to the messages. I, 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 I can see the I can see the comments. I'm just trying to get stuff done uh, before I run out of time. Uh, I put out too much black now. It's always the way. You're like, all oh, right, I'm covered. I've covered it with black. That was easy. Painting something black is supposed to be simple, right? Oh, there we go. There's some bits that I missed. see this is the problem when you're doing painting you have to spend a long time and me thinking I can just paint for uh, like uh, an hour and it's all done yeah it doesn't work like that kiss goodbye to a good length of time good length of time okay so that's uh huh oh I have these moments where my eyes just feel like they, they can't see anything. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I've done that. I'm, I'm actually going to crack open this thing. I probably won't get it painted, guys. It is unlikely that the merchants will get done. But I'm going to at least chuck a little bit of black on here that's left over and then come back to it. Oh, they've got little bases I've got to stick on later. Look, they stick on. I have to stick them on later, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to just put it out of the way. Try not to remember. Don't throw them away, Fred. Don't throw them away. And I'm just going to, I don't know if I need to get him done, but let's, let's grab the, whoop, let's grab the, uh, the chick and just get some paint on here as quickly as possible. Remember not getting too fancy about things. And where's my water? Where's my water? Yeah, there's a bit of water there. A bit of water. Yep, she's a little bit watered down. That's helping a smidgen, but it's covering. It would take me a few coverages to make that all work out. But hey, it's, it's going on. For those of you who are wondering how long I'm going to hang, hang around, I said about an hour, and I think that's probably the best thing. There's nothing particularly exciting about what I do. In fact, what I do is sort of uh, just mess around, really. Messing around, that's what I do. I mess around. Okay, uh, Curry. Last session, my players tried to draw Clark down the chimney. <laughs> the cleric used Demetaji, oh, oh my gosh, uh, to make her voice echo and said, All goblins are buttholes. Yes, well done, Curry. You got me to say a word that will probably get this video demonetized. I said it anyway. Uh, uh, yes, the the bee holes, the bee holes. Was there a purpose to it? Did it was it su successful in getting Clark annoyed and getting him to come to them so that they can pepper them with fire, or was it unsuccessful? What have we got here? So of course, being in the cave, it went. Oh. Oh, buttholes, buttholes, buttholes. Oh, it echoed. Oh, part of the session. Mm hmm. Nicely done. So now everybody thinks that they're a butthole, or somebody is calling them a butthole in the cave. That's going to cause a lot of trouble inside that uh, goblin cave. You. You. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. I like the sound of it. Slice of Scott, thanks for the heads up, appreciate it. No problem, Slice of uh, Scott. Oh, that's uh, oh, more water. No, come back here. The, um, the process of getting the paint on the skill is just uh, too much water now. Yeah, okay. Come on, get on there. Okay. 
it is trying it is very very trying uh, this isn't really a painting video now this is more like a let's paint everything black session it's not the men in black it's the women in black that'll be the next one right uh, Will Smith will bring his wife along Jade and she will play one of the women in black what's the people in black something like that I'm all for it long as the jokes are good uh, come here come here all right I'm gonna leave that alone I feel like it's only partly covered but that's life uh, what's that slice of Scott some um, haven't done any painting before but saw wizards was releasing a paints pack in a couple of months going to try Pathfinder pawns in the meantime yep you can make your own pawns if you like I did a video on how to do it so if you're if you're uh, keen to give it a go Go find somebody who has a whole lot of Magic the Gathering cards. Grab yourself some um, some stick-on book cover adhesive, you know, that clear stuff. And a couple of ball clips and you're in business, man. No problems. Easy peasies. Okay, so now I need to create some brown. Um, mm. Am I creating brown? Oh, hopefully. Uh, they waited, but the, the goblins are going round the other way to see what was what was up. All right, okay. <laughs> I love it. It's good news. It's good news. All right, so I'm going to make brown. So there's a couple of colours involved in that. And um, we're going to be using... We're going to be using, I feel like, blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. Blue, blue... Oh, it's, it's, Red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. Okay, let's. Okay, so clean some brushes off. Make sure that they are ready, and clean that brush off as well, just in case. And then we're just going to pop in various colours, and ta -da! Let's turn this round, so you guys can see what I'm doing. There is the little treasure chest. And as we go blue, green, yellow. Unfortunately, my blue is the Citadel blue, which means I have to lift the lid off the cap and then try not to spill it everywhere, which of course, that's exactly what it wants to do. It's just go everywhere. So I'm going to plop in as much as I can, like that. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, cap go on. See, this is why I don't like those Citadel paints. They spill, they are hard to maneuver, they just give you hassles. Whereas I can grab the Vallejo, Vallejo, and I just give it a shake. And when I'm ready, I can pour out the paint that I want. So I'll put the red in here. Whoops, make sure I shake it. Keep forgetting to do that. And squeeze some paint out. Make some brown. How now, brown cow? How now? And yellow goes there. Uh, maybe more. And there. And then we're going to make brown. Hmm. Here we go. Let's take no. I'm going to leave the blue there. I feel like I'm going to add colours from that to get where I need to be. So we'll start with the red. And I want a darkish colour. It's going to be pretty um, dark by the looks. Darkish. Still darkish. It's, it's actually not too bad there. I like that. That's not terrible. And then we'll just clean that off and then I'll we'll grab a different brush or I'll wash that brush out. I think we'll wash that brush out. Okay, 
and then we're going to go with the yellow and we'll start with just a little bit just to see how we go it is kind of brown it is brown I just need if I add more yellow it'll become browner okay so now the question is how do I want to do this well I definitely don't want to just stroke it on with that brush I'm, that isn't going to happen what I will do is I will grab a smaller light brush and I will just cover it um, a good old fashioned way and uh, oh what's that slice of um, Scott haven't done any painting before oh you've already said that curry alright so I caught up with the chat that's good news Right, let's get this this these this brown on. That's not too bad. It's it's going on reasonably well. Just need to paint it in the areas that it needs to be rather than everywhere. But of course, I'm using a brush that's much larger, so it doesn't necessarily do that. Okay, I feel like that's worked out reasonably well, not too bad. I want to definitely go with a lighter colour, eventually. Oh, come on you, you know you want to, here we go. And I don't need to worry about the top of that. But I do need to worry about inside, so um, there we go. Let's just squeeze that in there. And, da, 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 da. Come on, John Paul said I might get something if I get one of these done. Is brown kind of <laughs> that is brown kind of I wouldn't say it is brown it is kind of a brown certainly a darker color than it had before and certainly I think it's working though it's working it's working Okay, good news. That's one aspect of it done. Oh, I just wanted didn't I wanted to have dark recesses in it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go with the black. It's what I was taught when I was first, I've been told by my brother that's not how you paint nowadays. But um Usually I cover I cover it with a black or a white depending on how light it needs to be. And the miniature that's uh, that the chick, the the barmaid, probably shouldn't have covered all of her flesh black. It would have been smarter to cover that area with white. But now that it's done, since most of her hair was, was partly successful with that, so we'll do that again. What I don't like is having to pull this blue paint out of the Citadel um, container. That's just a pain. It's so much easier to just go squeeze, done. Squeeze, done. And Okay, all right, that's that. And get some red. Now I'm gonna to have to squeeze it into a different location, aren't I? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I'm losing control of things. There we go, red. 
Uh, actually, it's going to need to be just a fraction more, I think. Okay, so now that we've got that sorted out, we've got our blue, we've got our red, I want to make... Now, I wanted to go lighter, a lighter brown, and I feel like that is actually going to have to be done using a slightly different color combination. So I'm going to go into here, red, and then if I can find a brush that isn't completely covered in paint that I can use, get rid of this paint here. Give it a whoosh, give it a swish, swish it about. I'm a swisher. All right, yellow. Okay, that's partly what I was after. And now, oh, did I just put too much in there? Hard to know. Okay. It's certainly a lot closer. A lot less blue makes a big difference to go lighter. Lighter. Okay, good. Grab my brush. I'm going to just stick that in there and grab the uh, the finer dry brush that I've got instead of using that one, just so that it. Okay, good. That's that done. And now this one here. I'm going to have to make sure I bring myself more cloths to wipe my fingers on. Do not have enough. Um, yeah, yeah, getting miniatures for your um, players is one thing. I wouldn't worry so much about the players' characters' miniatures. What I would go with is your monsters. And um, I've got a few videos that show you how to make them. Not all of the monsters you might want, but a couple of them. Okay, that's... Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We just chuck that on. Well, that's made it just a huge difference. Just making sure I didn't mix. I mean, it would have been easier if I had already pre-mixed browns and so forth, but it gets a bit expensive after a while. So that's that one done. And I'll do the same thing with this one which is, is it the correct one? Yes it is. And flick on my brown. Get it in there, get it in, get it in, get it. Come on, go in there. Okay. No sweat. Because that's covered most of it. Well, that's my story anyway. Okay. So that's that bit. I'm going to clean that out. That's working. How's it going, hypnotic? <clears throat> Sorry. How's it going, hypnotic? Almost caught my tongue between my teeth. Hi Stephen, how are you doing? What's uh, what do you got here? Um, Carry the the base coat ensures that there is colour all over the model using the recesses. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, it's all about showing. And now I'm going to use tan. 
and if I can find it for these little buggers, if I, there it is, there it is, it's over there. And the trick is, if I do it right, it'll look cool, it'll look good, and if I do it wrong, it'll look like garbage. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? It's always a possibility. Um, this one here, I might just, can I get away with just plonking the paint on? Yeah. I'm just going to get rid of some of the paint off this one. That will just come off onto the manager. It does really help for the paint to sort of have set a little bit before you go and stick the next lot on. I always find that seems to work a lot better, but even, even when you're dealing with blacks and browns and dark colours. All right, all right, you're out of the way. That brush is now available. And where's my tan? Well, I'm not going to get a tan in New Zealand, but I mean the tan paint. Here we go. There we go. There it is. And not too much of that because I don't know that I'm necessarily going to need very much. I'm trying to use that brush again. And is anything even remotely dry? See, this is the problem is you need the paint to dry at a certain speed. And if it doesn't, and it's still too sort of soft, it all just comes apart on you and you wind up like, ah, oh, that didn't work. Okay, I've got a little bit of paint there, just brush off a smidgen of it and very lightly cover. Hmm. Okay. Hot. You can even everything out with a, a wash. I don't really use washes very often, but I have used them before. They can be very successful. They make everything look very old and a bit rough and dirty. And that's the sort of the big benefit of using them. Oh, got a little bit of hair coming out. It's not my hair, it's the hair in the brush. And a little bit more paint. See if I can get it in there. Yes, it is the problem is trying to get it in, in there and still only leave a little bit. It's hard. Okay, that's good. We'll do that. That's fine. Moving on. What's this? Uh, how's it going, Jack? How are you doing? Oh, it's one glass of water gone. <clears throat> Bob Rose tonight. Bob Rose. I don't know. Who is Bob Rose? Tell me about Bob Rose. Do I know Bob Rose? Do you know Bob Rose? Is it a red herring? Does it mean something that I should, should, should know but don't know? <laughs> Ah, come on you, get in there. All right, well, a little bit more tan, I'll be happy with that. Oh, ah, okay, a miniature painter, Bob Rose. Now, I, well, look, I, I, I used to do these, these were my days off. Basically, these were my days when I didn't have to go and do a video and talk in a sensible manner about rules for Dungeons and Dragons or anything else. I just go and paint and talk nonsense or not talk very much. Those were always the best ones, right? <clears throat> 
Okay, so I've done that. I don't feel like I need to brush anything else over there, so I won't bother. And there's just a whole bunch of brushes that are now cleaned out. And now it's just a matter of finding the right brush to apply the paint I want. And I'm going to use silver. Is it silver? Or is this? No, it's not. It's oily steel. Oily steel. Give it a shake. All right. What's our time like? Happy little trees. I don't know where that came from, Darren, but okay. I'll go with that. Happy little trees. Um, Epididius ghost. Epididius ghost. I have so many miniatures that need painting and I'm to a total newbie. Thanks for the video. You are welcome. I'm probably going to find it very hard to get many things painted um, doing it this way. Amer American public video, oh, public television painter. Very mellow, well loved. Oh, now I know. Um, yeah, okay. Stephen, kind of Misty Ro Rogers. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, man, okay. Alright, let's get this, this paint on. Because I'm bollocking around now. And the more time I spend doing it, the less I'm getting done. <laughs> it makes no sense, right? But it's true. I have got less done. Not more, but less. Okay, so. We are going to just... I paint along there with my shitey hand control and my really poor eyesight like that no one said it would be easy I'm putting the container in the way so you can't actually see well done Fred well done well done you're doing a fantastic job of making sure nobody can actually see you paint the miniature. You're supposed to, if you're going to live stream, they they actually do need to see what's going on. So, all right. Let's just keep putting the paint on there. Uh, oh. This little sucker is just going to make life... That much more e um, harder for, my, for me. Look, there's that little skull. I want to stay away from the skull. There is no way I'm watering this down right now because it would just bleed everywhere. In fact, getting it on where I want it is very difficult. Oh, thank you, Jack. Core blimey. Uh... <laughs> mud animal, mud animal, how's it going? What are your minis uh, stuck onto? Oh, they're stuck on with blue tack. I've, I've used a um, vitamin container and blue tack to hold it in place. Um, thank you, Fred. <laughs> Something to show my appreciation for the channel. Keep up the, uh, the awesome vids. You're welcome. I really should be stopping now so I can go and do some filming about paladins right but um, I'm going to at least get some basic details on very very fast and either John Paul will um, follow up with his offer or he will say Fred go back to the drawing board and you need to do a bit more painting on that that's just awful <laughs> Uh, fiddly bits. The fiddly bits. Yeah. See, this this is why a lot of people don't paint, right? Because it takes hours. Just hours. I mean, I'm, I've been painting for an hour. I've got so far as to get three treasure chests black put 
brown paint on or, well, one or two colors of brown onto two or three of them and started painting details started painting details I haven't actually done the details okay all right I'm gonna come back to you you stay there don't go anywhere Okay, I'm just going to move this over here. You don't need to see all the other paint palettes. Just move the container into the screen so it's more in the middle. Curry, um, he was in the army and used to yell all, yell all the time when he, he left the service. He vowed to never raise his voice again. I uh, missed something. Oh, landscape painting. Oh, now, now I see. I get it. All right. Ooh. This is, trust me, it's much harder to paint miniatures with a camera going, with a whole lot of people talking to you. I think that's part of the reason why my brother has never done it, because he it would drive him nuts. Um, and I'm already nuts, so it doesn't matter. And then try to get everything done. Oh. I'm just, all I'm doing is just trying to get silver in roughly the right place right now. I'm going to have to go back over it. Or should I say oily steel? Oily steel. Uh, Jack, um... I knew he was in the army, but didn't know that he was... That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. We're having a um, an educational session while I try to paint this thing. Right. I might need to go to the finer and more delicate brush for a lot of this. Ah, uh, okay. How am I going to get to there? Very, very tricky. Point at the camera and paint as well. All right, I feel like that brush is failing me now. All right, coolios. All right, I'm gonna. I am going to pack it in because I do want to actually shoot some of those videos and um, otherwise I'll sit here all day trying to paint little treasure chests and it sounds, I mean I've, I know a lot of my painting videos have been like two hours long, two hours, it's ridiculous and, and people come and they, they join and they chat along with me, I know what it happens is that, that there's somebody else, they'll be there watching me and listening to me talk um, or listening to their own music. So it's, it's weird how that happens, eh? You know? Who would have guessed that um, people painting live that would be so popular? And um, I've bumped into so many people who are painting and doing their own stuff while I'm doing this. Ah, man. Trying to get this little brush into the little container. I don't want to damage it. It's, they're such expensive brushes, these little suckers. There we go. It's in. Ha! All right, let's catch up the chat. Chat! Oh my God, it just exploded. Uh, <clears throat> let's catch up with the chat before I have to leave. Okay? They're not finished. I'll have to come back and do some more some other time. But let me deal with the chat box because I have been, uh, I have not been paying attention as much as I should have. Uh, la, 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 la. Recently did some acrylic. All right. Epi Epidermis ghost recently bought some acrylic miniatures, horses. 
from Litco. All right, allowed Paladin miniatures to ride on style. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Uh, what, Jack? What's your question? Quick question about looting if Fred. Oh, about looting Fred or looting if Fred. Okay. Or anyway, <laughs> anyone could answer as well for me. But when you loot a dead body, and the NPCs weep his whip his say poison damage as a DM. I have no idea what that means. Poison damage, Jack. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't understand. It's confusing. You, you, you have to ask me in a way that I can understand. That question is weird. Okay, sorry. Um, how's it going, Aaron? Roll for damage. I do. Uh, if the weapons had a stat, I would transfer to player unless it was a spell of the PC. I don't know what that's all about, but you've answered somebody's question. That's good. Aaron. I would jack unless the poison came from a vial. How come everybody else understands what Jack is saying and I don't? Uh, then you would <laughs> just give them a partially used vial of poison or empty. Ah, oh, if they use, if they have a vial or poison. Okay, all right, yeah. It's not like you're trying to um, suck it out of their body or anything, right? The poison. If they've got a, a free vial or flask, then by all means, go for it. Kari, this is inspiring. I need, a, <laughs> I need to do some minis and paintings. Yeah, why not? Uh, Mud Animal. Jack, my players actually had their weapons enchanted to have extra 1d6 elemental damage. It throws off combat a bit, so I had to augment the encounters building. Yes, you absolutely would. Anything you change will change everything else. Uh, Stephen, Jack, if you take something from... Everybody else understood what Jack's question was, and I struggled with all of that oh my god um somewhere in real life it doesn't change however you can do it either way in game uh, okay magical poison would remain that poison can wear off at your discretion yeah poison wears off at your discretion or it might not it might just stay and just keep killing them it's still working through your system thanks guys haha ha, i figured that a vial would just fade away but like an enchant enchantment would stay thanks guys yeah, a lot here. Well, a vial doesn't have to start, uh, fade away. It's up to you. You can do whatever you like. Um, I had to keep the message small. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I understood. Okay, I get it. Weapon equals weapon, Fred. All right, ah. Oh, my brain. Could not work that one out. Oh, my gosh. I thought you were talking about the, the, the character being looted weeping. And I was like, how can you weep? How can you cry or weep if you're already dead? Uh, and you're an NPC, and why would the NPC be weeping? Stephen, um, we play MMOs for it. Okay, oh, I don't play, I can't play video games, it would be the end of my life. Um, Epidemus Ghost, laugh out loud, loud. You were <laughs> busy painting, we were busy reading. Oh, good, uh, at least somebody was paying attention. Uh, roll for damage. Um, what do you got? He's asking if NPC weapons had damage, uh, with poison damage on it. Um, and dropped the poisons pick it up would it still carry over the damage well it depends if you feel that the poison on it will stay in terms of residue or it would dry out and the effect would be lost some poisons um, you'd lose the effect and some poisons put onto a, um, a substance will stay there indefinitely and they don't evaporate but I'm not an expert in poisons okay all right now, now that I've, I've managed to keep up with everybody's questions um, and my attempt at painting, hopefully I'll get better at this. Uh, hopefully I'll figure out how to lay out and make sure I can answer people's questions at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to take off guys. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to try and do some Paladin videos and I'll catch up with you tomorrow maybe or no not tomorrow if there's no video tomorrow it's because i'm playing dungeons and dragons i'll see you later